Sometimes your projects are gonna be messy and you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. In this video, I'm gonna show you multiple ways to add grit and texture depth to create compelling After Effects projects. So if you're ready to add grunge to any After Effects project, let's jump in and let's get started. After Effects is loaded up, we're gonna talk about some really exciting grunge tips. Remember, you can always download our project files and get the assets that we're using for absolutely free. The link's in the description below. So the first technique I wanna talk about is applying a texture to your title to where it's gonna be transparent. So you'll see here that we have this title here that is completely transparent by the textures that we are able to apply onto it. And it's not a font that came this way, meaning you know, you can use any typeface you want. I'm using Monument Extended Ultra Bold, which is one of my favorite fonts at the moment. But what you want to do is either download our project files or or search up a grungy type texture where there's going to be areas of actual uh, black in it. And this is very important if you want to add transparency and grunge to your texture. So what you'll do is bring that image into your composition. And what we're going to do is grab our title layer, you'll toggle switch in modes. And here we'll see the track map and we'll set this to our grunge layer. Now I'm using After Effects 2023. If you don't update to this version, the track map is going to be a little bit different on your end. So now we have a texture on our title, but usually when you apply a texture on your title, it's not going to necessarily look good at the moment you apply it. So remember to hit S rank keyboard for scale and scale down your texture so you can maximize the uh, usefulness area of that texture. And also feel free to rotate your texture as well to get the right angle that you're looking for. So since our texture had those black areas and is relatively dark, if I toggle transparency, we can see through the entire text, we don't necessarily want this. To fix this, all we're gonna do is grab our grunge layer, go to effect, color correction, and grab curves. And we can grab the first point here at the top, bring this over to the left, and this will you know, brighten up the image and remove some of that transparency. So we wanna just continue to move this over until we eliminate some of the transparent areas. And then you can kind of create an S curve, click a point down here and click another point here at the top. And this will create a little bit more contrast in your title. So now we have this beautiful texture to where we can see through our titles uh, and areas where we don't. So we show this here, the texture is nice and strong and it looks really good. And then you can change the color of your text to any color that you want. So you can put this on blue, green, whatever you want. The second technique I want to talk about is just adding some nice level of grunge to some other shapes without having to see through it. Just another quick technique here. So, you know, for example, I just want to create like a white box around this so it will stand out on a dark background. So I'll come here to top, grab the rectangle tool and just draw out a rectangle. And here I have just have another grunge texture. It doesn't matter that there's no black in here or whatever. You can use anything if you just want to add some generic texture to your layers. So I'll go ahead and bring this in here. I'll hide the texture so we see what we're doing. Grab our shape layer, go to the track mat and set it to the grunge. And then I'm going to click on this uh, switch to luma mat icon. And this will apply the texture to our white bar here. Now, of course, be sure to scale down your texture and fit it exactly how you want to. And since we're on the topic of using track mats, a quick way we can reveal on this After Effects title is actually really simple. What we can do is grab our shape layer here, add a keyframe for scale, break the chain, move this keyframe forward in time by a little bit, set the X scale to 0%, and this will animate in our shape layer, but our title is still there. We'll grab our After Effects layer, set the track mat to the shape layer. And then just make sure you turn the shape layer back on. And look at that, now our title is being revealed on by the shape layer and we have this nice texture applied to it as well. Before we move further into the video, if you're working on projects that require this style of motion graphics, we have a template pack called Pulse, which comes with our Motion Duck extension that will allow you to preview and import templates into any After Effects and Premiere Pro project. Once a template is imported, you can change the template titles and other parameters to fit your project needs. We also have over 20,000 other templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro with the links in the description below. If you do purchase anything from our website, you will be supporting our YouTube channel. So thank you very much. So what about taking this even further and overlaying something into your title? So we have the texture here, but it may, I also have some video playing in the background. So what we can do to apply an image or whatever, very simple, go ahead and bring in some footage or an image or whatever you just bring in here. I took some very cinematic footage of my pets and I wanted to just take this opportunity to splice this into a tutorial. Very simply, I take my footage layer, go to the track mat and just set it to the title layer. And now this will be embedded into our title. Very simple, a lot of people know how to do this. However, our title layer has been turned off. Make sure you turn that back on. It's very important that you do this. Then you can set your blend mode to a number of different things like screen, and you can start to see some of that texture in there. But one of my favorite is gonna be difference. And it's gonna really make a massive difference in your work and look at that. So now we have this really cool graphic that we've been able to put together. However, you know, depending on what you wanna do. So for example, I wanna show you another example. If you just grab a photo that has a transparent background, and we instead just place this in here instead of the footage. And as you can see, we'll be able to keep the original color of the title because we're using a 
image with a transparent background. So it's a nice way to add another detailed textured element uh, to your work. But I'm gonna stick with the video for the tutorial. So I wanna talk about some final touches that we can make to this. So for example, I have this grunge here that we can use for a background, it's very abstract. And so if you can build up a library of just useful elements like this, it can help make a difference into your work. Anytime you're working with a very contrasted background where there's white and there's black, one thing I would suggest doing sometimes is going to affect color correction curves and just bringing down the top point of this curve to uh, bring down the brightness so it doesn't conflict with your foreground graphics and it'll just make everything much more uh, subtle and you'll be able to still be focused on your main uh, graphic. Another thing we should always do is go to layer, new adjustment layer and go to effect, noise and grain and add noise. Um, and you set this up as high as you really want. I'll do 25%. You can uncheck use color noise or just keep it, it's up to you. But, but having noise is a nice touch to texturing if you wish to have it. And building out a further scene here by using side graphics, side titles, or whatever you have to work with it can definitely help bring more value to your overall composition. And never forget to animate your titles really quickly. You go to animation presets, go to text, and go to animate in, and you can just use a handful of these presets. So for example, I can animate this big title real quick by grabbing decoder fade in and just placing it on top of my title. I can hit U on my keyboard to bring up the keyframes, bring in that last keyframe. Now I've been able to animate in our main title with some style and it looks really nice. So this is how you can put together a nice textured and unique scene with all these elements and techniques all put together. All right, so now you should be able to create some really messy projects with style. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week and always be creating.